morning, Ambassador. Captain. I didn't know you read Universe today. Uh, after our last encounter with your reporters, uh, I felt that I should be more prepared in the future. Mm. I find this notion of the press uh, a fascinating, but sometimes troubling concept. <laughs> Join the club. Credit accepted. Identity confirmed. Please insert issue to be recycled. Back home, if there is something you need to know, you are told just what you require and no more. It is tradition. Express preferences. Standard preferences. Oh, and include more detailed information on the sixth game of the World Series. Stand by. Preparing personalized edition of Universe Today. Your best source for information on events shaping the universe around us. All yours. Identity confirmed. Credit accepted. Utilize standard preferences? Yes. You know, uh, well, this incessant curiosity may seem necessary to you. And Barry, respect the privacy of others by not prying into their affairs to express undue curiosity. Unable to insert I on Minbari section. Do you wish to accept addition anyway? Um, yes. Yes, I do. I am Minbari. It is good to know what your people are thinking and saying about my people. Oh. And, uh... I often learn things about my own world before I'm told what I need to know and no more. Captain. I, uh, was wondering if you had time tomorrow to discuss where we are on food shipments to Narn Outposts. Yes, of course, of course. Just let me know when. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. No, actually, I'm not fine. It's been one hell of a day, Ambassador. Do you wish to talk about it? No. Why is it every time you finally get things calmed down and everything's going great, life decides to kick you in the butt? But what? What? You said that life decides to kick you, but... No, no, it's, um... <laughs> it's, a, it's a part of the body. It's, um... Oh, you have the damnedest gaps in your vocabulary. In preparing to come here, I was not taught the more um, colorful aspects of your language. It was considered inappropriate for one of the religious caste. Yeah, well, you're missing out on a lot. So I gather. But... I but, you but, he or she but. No, no, it's... Uh, uh, but, it's... but, but, but. You sound like a motorboat. Motor but? I do not think I like the sound of that. Well, I don't blame you. I'm against the whole idea. Then we are in agreement. Yeah, so frank and loopy. <laughs> there you see. What? Something has gone your way today. Yeah. It's the way the universe works. Wait just a little while, and the wheel turns. Uh, yes, Mr. Garibaldi. I finished that uh, background check you wanted. Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. And I have to go. Well. Good day, Captain. Good day, Ambassador. I checked out her story. You sure you know where you're going? Of course. I have an excellent memory. Positive? Epsifragging loot, they damn it. Since the last discussion, I have been studying your use of language. Uh, do you approve? Uh, well, we'll talk about that later. Uh, left or right? Left, I believe.
Lord. I may not go home. You've changed. I like it. Captain. I know it's asking much of you, Captain. Delenn, asking is not a problem. Not for you. Not after everything that we've gone through lately. I'm just, you know, trying to understand. Ambassador Kosh is unsure about me. You? Why on earth? By aligning myself with you and with Kosh, I have placed myself in the center of the coming storm. Kosh must be certain that my choice was correct and made for the right reasons. If you do the right thing for the wrong reasons, the work becomes corrupted, impure, and ultimately self-destructive. Ambassador Kosh wishes confirmation that the right people are in the right place at the right time. And whoever is coming here will help him decide if you're one of these right people? How? Delenn, if there's anything that I can do. No. What I must do, I must do alone. I have agreed to this of my own free will. Please do not interfere, no matter what happens. And the final player in our little drama arrives at last. Leave her alone. Why? Just do it! What is she to you? I don't have to answer your questions. No. You don't. Your quarrel is with me! You were sent to investigate me! Let him go. If you want to take someone, then take me! Well, well. A mutual admiration and sacrificial society. And what is he to you? None of your concern. Don't listen to him, Delenn. Just get the hell out of here now. Go on! One single move. A gesture. And his life is snuffed out. Or yours. You would trade your life for his. I thought you had a destiny. Is that destiny not worth one life? If I fall, another will take my place. And another. And another. But your great cause. This is my cause. Life. One life or a billion, it's all the same. Then you make the sacrifice willingly. Yes. No fame. No armies or banners or cities to celebrate your name. You will die alone and unremarked and forgotten. This body is only a shell. You cannot touch me. You cannot harm me. I'm not afraid. Are you all right? Huh? Huh? I'm fine. Good. What happened? I'm not entirely sure. What? Come on. You can go. You've passed. Both of what? How do you know the Chosen Ones? No greater love hath a man than he lay down his life for his brother. Not for millions, not for glory, not for fame, for one person. In the dark, where no one will ever know or see. I have been in the service of the Vorlons for centuries looking for you. Diogenes with his lamp, looking for an honest man willing to die for all the wrong reasons. At last, my job is finished. Yours is just beginning. When the darkness comes, know this. You are the right people, in the right place, 
at the right time.